Saint Dymphno was born sometime during the 7th century in Ireland and is the patroness of victims of incest as well as those suffering nervous and mental afflictions. Her feast day is May 15th and it is unknown who beatified or canonized her. Dymphno was born to a pagan father and Christian mother. When she was 14 years old, Dymphna promised herself to Christ and vowed to live a chaste life. Unfortunately, later that same year, her mother passed and her father lost his senses. So maddened was he by the loss of his wife that his sights turned toward his daughter, who greatly resembled the woman he loved. His advisors whispered foul suggestions to him, and he decided to marry her as a replacement for his beloved wife. When Dymphna discovered his scheme, she escaped to Belgium with the help of her trusted servants, a fool, and her confessor. The group settled in Giel, where Dymphna opened a hospice for the city's mentally ill and poor. Unfortunately, when she used her money to pay for the hospital, her father was able to track her down and he quickly traveled to Giel with soldiers, whom he ordered to decapitate the priest. Dymphna's father attempted to convince her to marry him, but when she refused he became enraged and dispatched her head from her shoulders. She was only 15 years old. Following the bloody scene, the townspeople collected Dymphna and the priest's remains and buried them in a cave. Eventually, a shrine and church were erected above the burial site and several mentally ill people were healed there. Dymphna was canonized in 620 and her remains were moved to a silver reliquary in the church. Some of her remains can also be found at the shrine to St. Dymphna in the United States in Maslin, Ohio. Traditionally, St. Dymphna was portrayed with a crown on her head, dressed in royal robes, and holding a sword which symbolized her martyrdom. In modern art, she is shown holding a sword, albeit quite awkwardly. Today, she is also often depicted with a lamp in her hand and on some holy cards is featured wearing green and white while holding a book and white lilies. To learn more about St. Dymphna, visit catholic.org. And if St. Dymphna inspires you or someone you know, shop for her items by clicking on the catholicshopping.com link below for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience.